Hey guys, it's Joshua Parker here from HTC. Welcome to the final day of CES 2016. Let's see what's going on. My name is Dan, we're at CES 2016 at the HTC Vive booth, demoing Elite Dangerous in VR. Uh, Elite Dangerous is a space simulator game. They're uh, generating 400 billion star systems. It's the entire Milky Way galaxy. While the HTC Vive is designed for room scale experience, it's been working very well as a seated experience with Elite Dangerous. Uh, Elite was also designed with VR in mind, so it's been working very well together. Hello, I'm Omar Faiz and I'm with AMD and I'm a technical marketing specialist. And today we're at the AMD booth at CS. We're showing off the HTC Vive powered by the AMD Radeon R9 Fury X GPU. The Fury X uh, GPU is a very special card. It's actually designed for VR from the ground up. The memory on the GPU uses a special type of memory known as HBM, which puts the memory on the chip of the GPU, which reduces latency. So by reducing latency, you get that perfect smooth VR experience. And that's what we promise and we will deliver with AMD Radeon R9 graphics cards. <laughs> So I'm Markus, Markus Kühne from Audi. We're here at CES uh, to show our Audi VR experience. Uh, we give our customers the possibility to have special experiences, not only see all our cars, all of our 54 cars in VR. Uh, we also give them an opportunity to show into the cars, under the hood, under the structures or into the structures, and uh, they can also see some of our classic cars. We are using the HTC Vive for it. Um, we have a 5x5 meter area where people could go around the car, go inside the car, and with the Lighthouse tracking system and this really good HMD, it's possible to do that and to have this great experience. Category will be for best gaming product. The winner is HTC's Vive Chaperone. We will see you next year. Thank you, Las Vegas. Thanks for joining us at CS 2016. Stay tuned for the next event that we'll be covering with HTC Vive.